Welcome viewers, in the scheme of qualitative analysis of cations, zinc ions, manganese ions, nickel ions and cobalt ions. These are the cations of group 4. Today we will perform the tests for identification of zinc ions and manganese ions. Our aim is analysis of group 4 cations that is zinc ions and manganese ions. Fourth group cations are precipitated as their sulphides in alkaline medium. A white color of the precipitate indicates the presence of zinc and a pink color precipitate indicates the presence of manganese ions in, the, in their respective salts. Materials required for today's experiment is as follows. Test tubes, test tube stand, funnel with filter paper, water bottle, test tube holder, spatula, droppers and watch glass. Chemicals required are salt of zinc and salt of manganese. Besides this, we need solid ammonium chloride, dilute hydrogen chloride solution, distilled water, ammonium hydroxide solution, sodium hydroxide solution, hydrogen sulphide solution and we need the solution of reagent potassium ferrocyanide. First we do identification of zinc salt. For this in a test tube we take a pinch of zinc salt. Using distilled water we will make its solution. Original solution is prepared. In this original solution, now we will add a pinch of solid ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide solution. We will add ammonium hydroxide solution in slight excess till we get the smell of ammonia. Now in this solution we will add hydrogen sulphide solution. So I got white colored PPT after the addition of hydrogen sulphide. So this white colored PPT is due to the formation of zinc sulphide. Presence of this PPT indicates that in the given salt zinc ions are present. Now we will do confirmatory test with this precipitate. For this I will filter the precipitate. For confirmatory test of zinc ions, I take a little amount of the precipitate in another test tube and now I will dissolve this precipitate in dilute hydrochloric acid solution. As we see, zinc sulphide has dissolved completely. Now this is the chloride solution. With this solution, we will do two confirmatory tests. So I divide this solution in two parts. In first part, I will add sodium hydroxide solution. As you can see, white precipitate is being formed. This white precipitate is due to the formation of zinc hydroxide. Now let us see what will happen if we add sodium hydroxide solution in this in excess. You can see precipitate has dissolved completely. So this time this solution is because of the formation of sodium zincate which is a soluble salt. So this test confirms the presence of zinc ions in the given salt. Now we are doing the test with second part. For this we need solution of potassium ferrocyanide reagent. As 
as you can see a slightly bluish white precipitate obtained. Its chemical composition is zinc ferrocyanide and these two tests they confirm the presence of zinc ions in the given salt. Now we performed the analysis of another group 4 cation that is manganese cation. We take a pinch of manganese salt, we make its original solution. We will shake it well. In this original solution, now we will add a pinch of solid ammonium chloride. Now we have added solid ammonium chloride. In this, we add ammonium hydroxide solution. We add ammonium hydroxide solution in slight excess till we get pungent smell of ammonia. Now, in this solution, we are adding hydrogen sulphide solution. As you can see, a thick buff color precipitate has formed. We call this flesh color precipitate also. So, this flesh color precipitate indicates the presence of manganese ions in the given salt. However, we will now do the confirmatory test with this precipitate. For this, first of all, we filter the precipitate. Our filtration apparatus is ready. Now, we are pouring the content through the funnel. Let it be filtered. We take a little of precipitate in another test tube. With this precipitate, we will do confirmatory test for manganese ions. For this, first of all, we dissolve this precipitate in dilute hydrochloric acid solution. So, with the help of dropper, we will add few drops of hydrochloric acid solution. As you can see, the precipitate has dissolved completely. In this solution, we add sodium hydroxide solution and we will see what happens. As you can see, a white color precipitate appears because of the formation of manganese hydroxide. Due to atmospheric oxidation, this white precipitate is rapidly converting into brown precipitate. This is because of the formation of hydrated manganese oxide. This precipitate confirms the presence of manganese ion in the given salt. So, today we did the identification of two ions, zinc ion and manganese ion using the known salts. Now, after doing the experiment, we have to take precautions. That is the first point is whenever we work in chemistry laboratory, we always wear lab coat. Second point is if we need to use a reagent or a solution, we always read the label of the solution. Third point which we need to keep in mind is never ever taste a chemical or never mix solutions or chemicals unnecessarily. Now, we will try to attempt a few exercise questions. First question is while trying to get the precipitate for zinc cation and manganese cation, first we added a pinch of solid ammonium chloride and then we added ammonium hydroxide solution. Can we reverse the addition? Just think over it. One more question you can try that is why the sulphides of group 4 cations are precipitated out in alkaline medium. So, I am sure you must have enjoyed today's session. Do not forget to watch our next session that is the analysis of two more cations belonging to group number 4. These are cobalt cation and nickel cation.